Yep, they're, they're all dead. That was the easiest fight of my life. You're like, yo, Jack, what's the mod where you get the infinity and in attack suit of armor and you also get the unkillable insta kill Minecraft sword? Okay, guys, maybe it's not like exactly like that, but still, I get that question a lot. So today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly the mod that I get all of the awesome, unkillable, unbreakable stuff from in today's video. So yeah, should be pretty dang cool. Hey guys, anyway, what's going on? What's up, Bessie? What's up, Wolfpack? How you doing? We're back for a brand new video. Now, you guys have been literally asking for this out the wazoo. If you check over here, we have Noob Animation, Lil Max YT, Jonathan P, Zora, and like, uh, I think like 9,000 other you guys wanted me to recheck out the Avaricia mod, the biggest crafting table mod, the one hit KO sword mod. It goes by a lot of names. Because anyway, if you want to be featured as the come of the day for like these dudes right here, all you got to do is just pound the heck out of that like button, subscribe, and then tap that bell so you never miss out on a brand new video, and then comment any awesome mod that you want to see down below. And I also want you guys to uh, comment down below any other Minecraft bosses that you think could possibly take me down with this armor on. Now guys, I, I will put in a little disclaimer. I have been killed before with this suit of armor on. I don't know how, but uh, I, I guess there's just some glitches here and there. So if you check out this uh, little thing right here, basically this is the extreme crafting table. Now in order to get this, you need a, <laughs> a lot of different things. You need crystal matrix ingots, which is a uh, diamond lattice with two nether stars to just get one, which is five diamonds per lattice. So yeah, it's going to take you a while to get this stuff. 12 seconds later. But if you're like me, you can just like cheat all in. But yeah, once you have it, you'll notice that it literally is a 9x9 nine nine crafting table, which you use to pretty much craft almost everything in this mod. Now, some of the other things you're going to probably want to get is the uh, Neutron Collector, which, uh, yeah, this is uh, why you're going to need the giant craft recipe. You literally need, I think it's like 30 blocks of iron, like 20 blocks of redstone, some uh, crystal matrix ingots and stuff like that. But yeah, basically just do that in the giant crafting table. And this thing is going to be pretty important. It'll actually make neutron blocks for you or neutron ingots. So yeah, it'll get you at least one of these things. It, it takes a while, so you're gonna have to be a little bit patient. But with this stuff, you can basically craft all of the awesome armor, the weapons and stuff like that. But you probably noticed you'll need a, uh, a lot of it. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're literally gonna have to, for all the craft recipes, spend like hours and hours so you might be able to get this stuff after you're done like grinding and then maybe you're like 70 years old so you guys i'm not saying to cheat but uh you should probably honestly just cheat all this stuff in because it's really fun to mess around with now we also have a neutronium collector compressor type thing where you put in giant blocks in order to i believe get singularities so if i uh type in this thing and i grab this golden singularity i should just uh, be able to throw that in there and then It'll take, oh my gosh, I need to charge it? All right, let's just grab a lot of flipping gold. Here we go, bam, there we go. I need 200 per singularity, what the flip? Okay, come on, go ahead, go ahead, more. Yep, just keep, keep multiplying. Just keep cheating more in, guys, you got it. Okay, bam, there we go. It took 200 gold blocks to get one singularity, which you need for like literally everything in this mod, you need like a bunch of these things. So you guys, if you want to know more about like crafting and stuff, I'll leave a link down below to the actual mod page. But I kind of want to get into uh, the fun stuff after you're done grinding until you're like 20,000 years old. Basically, you'll be able to access all of these awesome things right here. So the first stuff I want to check out, which I actually kind of forget what they do. We have uh, Cosmic Meatballs, which is basically just like space meatballs. We have Ultimate Stew, which sounds amazing, probably better than my mom's stew. And then last but not least, we have uh, Endis Pearls, which I looked at the crafting recipe, and it is literally like a nuclear ender pearl. When I, here, let me just show you guys. If I just go like, pop, there you go, boom. Yep, okay, it, um, it, it kind of maybe uh, just like forms a black hole. No big deal. All right, it's still pulling, man. Is it gonna, oh my goodness. All right, fake Bessie, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna save you for later. But yeah, that is what the, uh, the Ender's Pearl does. Actually, flip it. Let's just do it again. Oh, poor guy. It literally will suck everything in. Wait, I'm actually curious. Let's go in here. Oh, oh, flip. Oh, okay. Bad idea. Yeah, no, no. Give me... Oh, crap. 
I mean, on the bright side, it does mine stuff for you. Like, I got a bunch of coal from that. And I also got fake Bessie beef. So, I mean, that's pretty dang good. But yeah, we also have uh, two new things to eat. We have a uh, cosmic meatballs and ultimate stew. But, uh, oh, crap. I'm not even hungry. So, uh, I think now is a good time to move over to the next thing, which are the boots. Now, I'm doing the boots because uh, they're probably the easiest to craft out of all these things. And when I mean the easiest, it'll take you probably, like, at least 30 years to get all this stuff. But yeah, once you have them on, these things are actually insane. They have sonic percentage speed. Let me just show you what that means, right? Three, two, one, boom! Okay, I thought it'd be a little faster. All right, so the cool part about this, I mean, you're not like flash level fast. You're probably more like Sonic level, but still it is pretty dang amazing. And you also don't have to jump up blocks. And uh, yeah, you still take fall damage. Don't worry though, when you have the full suit of armor on, you will never take any damage again in your entire life. But I'm hoping that this makes it so that I, uh, you know, lose some uh, hunger and then I can actually eat the ultimate stew because it smells really flipping good. All right, okay, yep. Just literally running around up and down, trying to take damage, but it's not working. Okay, there we go. Great. Still not losing flipping hunger. Oh my gosh, you take damage. All right, there we go. No, wait, wait. Probably should have done this. I thought the arm would protect me. Oh my goodness. Finally, there we go. Million minutes later. Bam. Ultimate stew. Please. Okay, regeneration two. Guys, don't craft this stuff. I repeat, it is not worth the time. Look at that. To craft this, you need so many different things. You're literally eating a cactus. Like, I've never actually had cacti before, so I can't recommend it. But I'm going to assume it's probably not the best thing to eat. But yeah, that is definitely some of the, uh, the, the less interesting stuff in today's mod. I'm going to keep these black hole generators just because they're flipping amazing. But now I want to test out uh, the armor just so I don't get wrecked anymore. So yeah, here we go. The infinity helmet basically makes it so you can breathe underwater, I'm pretty sure. Then we also have uh, the infinity breastplate, which makes it so first off, you can fly... And then you also don't take any more damage. And then last but not least, the legs make it so uh, there's no more fall damage for you. So yeah, you are now invincible. And not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen, it has like really cool infinity particle effects that makes it look like you're actually like some sort of alien. And the eyes are really dang cool. Everything kind of changes colors, which is amazing. And the best part is if I double tap, I grow awesome like guardian type wings. So yeah, there's a reason I use this in pretty much all of my videos because first off, you can travel extremely fast when you have the boots on and you can fly around you have like insane speed you also don't take fall damage so if i just go up and up and up there we go let's try and land on bessie stop on our head all right here we go three, two, one. what's up bessie how's it going big guys you do not take any fall damage the really i think the only thing you ever have to worry about is like eating food and i mean i already have like 61 cosmic meatballs so i think i'm okay now, I actually want to show you guys how invincible this actually makes me. So, if I just spawn in... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is this a skeleton? Yo, what's up, dude? How you doing? What's up, man? How you doing? What's up? Yep. He can't actually hit me. His, his arrows don't even touch me. Projectiles no longer... Oh, poor guy. Oh, he tried so hard. But yeah, projectiles don't hurt you. Explosions? Nope. They're just... Literally, nothing will hurt you anymore. So, yeah. It, uh, you pretty much have beaten Minecraft when you've made this armor. All right, don't mind me. We're just going to take down all these flipping creepers. All right, there we go. Bessie told me to take down 64, which I tried telling her would be too difficult. All right, there you go. Just die. Yep, everyone just blow each other up. Stinky creepers. All right, let's do uh, 12 more. 10 more. 9, 6, 2, 1, 0. Oh, yep, they're, they're all dead. That was the easiest fight of my life. All right, so yeah, guys, uh, first round out of the way. Let's go see. I actually don't know if we'll ever need the weapons. And trust me, guys, there are some crazy weapons in this. But I want to see, can anything do damage? I'm going to assume no. L look at it. What's up, dude? Hi how you doing? Nice nose. I like it. Can I borrow that axe from you, please? No? Okay. All right, what about Elder Guardian? What's up, dude? How you doing? Okay. Yeah, you go. Oh, yeah, you can use my pond if you want. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. There you go. Okay. Boom. Found his way to the pond. We also have an evoker. What's up, man? Okay, what? Why did he just... Okay, I guess he wanted to go for a swim. Oh, poor guys. They are trying their best. This guy is... Okay, this guy is not my favorite person. He's taking nub. Okay, let's go over here and see if we can... Yo! Did you just... Dude, he just attacked me. Oh, dude, that a big flipping mistake. All right. So, guys, I think it's time to move over into the awesome swords in this mod. Now, this first sword right here isn't anything special. It's more so of a tool to use for a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, this will actually behead any skeletons and will scorch them. So if I summon in a skeleton, let's just do this. Minecraft skeleton. And I kill him. He should drop his head as a wither skeleton. 
or or not die 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 there we go so yeah if you actually get the final hit he'll drop wither skeleton skulls which are pretty important for the rest of the mod so yeah that's definitely pretty dang useful so that you can keep farming them and it's also not super difficult to craft i mean you need actually i would probably just stick with diamonds but once you get this thing it is uh, definitely super good lights everything on fire but yeah, anyway let's keep moving down the line we have uh, some really op weapons now so let's grab uh, some of the tools actually which by the way the tools of this mod do 20 attack damage so yeah this is the axe it is uh, yep once again extremely difficult to craft but once you actually get it you can just go like boop there we go pop you're gonna die take that to the face it's not an insta kill yet but it's definitely better than any sword you'll probably ever get your hands on sorry about that mr evoker what else we got here oh my gosh we have vexes everywhere all right guys i'm gonna head over here because uh, these things also have uh, some secondary functions so if you see right here, this is called the Hoe of the Green Earth. And if I just hoe one area, it will actually hoe, I believe it's like a nine by nine cube. Now, if you do want to do just like single hoeing for whatever reason, you could just shift and right click and do it. But yeah, this isn't like super overpowered. We're just going to leave that over there. The next one we have is the Planet Eater, which uh, is basically creative mode, but for like your shovel. Now, it doesn't really work too well on stone. It will break it pretty dang quickly. But the best part about this, if you shift, right click in the air, it will turn into this like black hole planet eater. And then if I go like this, it will get rid of all grass in, uh, I think it's like a 15 by 15 block radius. So yeah, if you just really hate grass, you could just go like this and then just get rid of literally all the grass in your world. And it makes it so easy to mine in this mod. Like I can see all the iron now. I don't have to worry about anything. We can just go down to the depths and literally just keep going and going because they don't have durability also. Oh gosh, that's a tsunami. So if you guys haven't noticed, nothing has really taken any sort of durability except for the Skullfire Sword, which isn't really like the best thing in this mod. So yeah, it really doesn't matter. But the next thing we have is uh, pretty dang amazing as well. It is Nature's Ruin, which uh, if I go over here, see this birch tree? Boom, birch tree's gone. This is basically like the Tree Capitator mod, except it also knocks down all the leaves as well. I mean, it kind of got messed up on this one, but for the most part, it can knock down an entire forest pretty dang easily. And also, if you uh, shift and right click, it will get rid of all plants on top of dirt. So yeah, if I go over here, say I don't want this forest, three, two, one, boom. Yep, it's all gone. Now you also might've noticed I've gotten these thing called matter clusters, which basically, so the mod doesn't like lag out. It organizes everything into here and then I can shift and right click so that everything pops out and then I, I lag. All right, let's get rid of this crap. There you go, and just pearl, boom. I'm actually curious, the inside of this thing, oh, flip. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. Okay, let's go back up. Oh, I can't escape. All right, it's okay. I'm not going to take any damage. Don't be scared, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, I think... Oh my gosh, I collected all the dirt. I didn't want the dirt. I don't want this crap. Oh my gosh, there's just so much in my inventory. So I guess we'll just have to move on. Uh, Where's my house? Oh, what's up, Bessie? How you guys doing? All right, guys. So those are the uh, kind of basic weapons in this mod and kind of basic tools. So let's keep moving down the line here. And let's also get rid of all this flipping dirt. So guys, let's keep moving down the line. Next up are probably my uh, my three favorite weapons in the entire mod. Basically, we have uh, the World Breaker, which uh, let me just show you guys this thing. Like uh, it's it's basically the same as the uh, the shovel we just checked out. But if I shift, right click, turns into this giant World Breaker hammer. Which uh, okay, just stand back. Three, two, one, bam. Okay, there we go. Holy crap! It just gets rid of a giant chunk of any stone or blocks in that area. So, I mean, if you ever just wanted to dig all the way down to bedrock and see what happens, I mean, I know you're not supposed to dig straight down to Minecraft, but, I mean, I, we, we gotta do it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be real, okay? Why is this taking so long? Oh my gosh, I made a giant pond. I actually kind of like this here, but yeah, I'm curious if I just dig all the way down what I'll run into, or if my game will crash. All right, so there we go. There's one, there is two. Let's go down further and further. Holy crap. Now, I wonder if this can break through bedrock i don't think it will be able to but you never know all right bam there we go bedrock it can break bedrock what the heck not gonna lie ladies and gentlemen i kind of forgot about that little thing uh yeah this stuff can break bedrock so if that's something you want to do definitely go for it and uh yeah by the way this is uh one of my favorite weapons as well let's just grab uh, some dragons out of here because the world breaker is a uh, kind of like an overpowered hammer where if i go like that 
It will literally shove any mob super far away. Boom. Okay, it's not doing a lot of damage. Let's try the longbow of the heavens. Saw it. Okay, this does what? 80 damage? Oh my gosh. Dude, that is crazy. And that was one of like the biggest dragons. What the heck? Oh, I completely just forgot. If you miss the shot, it will fire in a bunch of arrows from the top. Wait a second, Louis. We have to try this again. There we go. Okay, we got a dragon. I think he's biting me. Stop biting me, bro. Chillax, bro. Stop it. He's literally trying to bite me. All right, let's try this again. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bam. All right, does that work? Okay, I kind of sort of maybe missed him. All right, there we go. What? I keep missing this dude. Stop it. Stop. Stay still. Stay still. There we go. There we go. Just raining arrows on this dude. All right, let's see. Do they do the same damage? Yeah, they're doing so much damage, guys. Okay, there we go. Fire that. There we go. Oh, my gosh. He just got wrecked. So, yeah, guys, those are my two probably favorite weapons. I actually want to test it out. Do we have anything I could just fling back? Maybe the King Spider. All right, let's try it. Bam. Saw that. And three, two, one. Boom. Boom. Oh, my gosh. He just dodged both my flipping hits. Boom. Bye, buddy. See ya. Oh, he's dead. Poor guy. I mean, I knew he was going to die. I feel kind of bad, though. But yeah, guys, this thing has insane knockback on it, which is a uh, pretty dang helpful in uh, sketchy situations. But anyway, guys, let's grab the last of the mobs just so I can show you the last weapon of the day, the Sword of the Cosmos, aka the Infinity Attack Damage Sword. This thing is an absolute monster. So let me just go show you guys. Uh, we have a uh, sheep. Let's just sneak up on him. Hey, buddy. Ah, bam. Insta-kill. Oh, what? You're not impressed by that? Alpha Yeti, 200 health, insta-kill. Wait, wait, wait a second. You're not amused? Okay, well, 80 health. Oh, crap. Giant me. Bam. You're dead, bro. Take that. Oh, that sword looks really cool, but I think my sword's a little bit better. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What was that? You don't believe me? Oh, right, hold on. We have the Yurgast right here. Bam. All right, let's try, actually. Let's do longbow. Because, uh, yeah, this thing... Oh, he made it rain. Get the heck out of here. Get... Okay, whoa, whoa. I missed him. Okay, come on. Come on. What the... Okay. Why do I gotta hit this dude? In the butt. Okay. What the... Bruh. Bro. Oh, yep. Found the tentacle. Look at this. He made it nighttime. He also made the weather not clear. Gosh dang it, bro. What the... Zombies? Are you guys serious? You guys are asking to die. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Did I just... You guys don't think... Okay. All right. I'll show you guys again. We have the Hydra. Basically the hardest boss in Twilight Forest. If I just go in here, let's actually try... Hold on. Let's do the World Breaker. Oh, my goodness. I just literally launched that dude. All right. Let's try, guys. Here you go. Three, two, one. Dead. 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 What the... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, why isn't that working? But yes, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up. Here is the Infinity Attack Damage Sword, Unbreakable Armor, the most overpowered items you've probably ever seen in Minecraft. Here is an actual review. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to also comment down below who you think could uh, go up against this amazing armor and Infinity Attack Damage Sword. Leave your suggestions down below. But anyway, dudes, I hope you enjoyed. My name is Beckbro Jack, and I will see you all back again here tomorrow for a brand new video. Peace out, dudes.